So this is a series called Bite Size Base Hacks. And this first base hack, I wanted to be about the gain hack. Uh, I did a full video, you can check that out, but this is going to be the short version. And essentially what you're doing is you're running the subwoofer trim on your AVR or your subwoofer level uh, as low as it'll go. I run mine usually between negative 11 and negative 12. And then what I do is I compensate by turning the gain on the subwoofer up. Now the whole idea here is, is that when you turn the gain down on the subwoofer, you're limiting the amplifier. You're, you're putting a, a limit or a speed limit on it. And when you can run that gain higher, you get more dynamics out of the bass. And so that's the idea. You turn the subwoofer level on your AVR as low as it'll go, compensate by turning the gain up on your subwoofer, and you don't, you don't want it overdone. You don't want it too boomy or loud or anything like that. You want to get it there. And you can check out my video on adjusting subwoofers by ear uh, to get an, a better idea of how to dial it in just right. Uh, but essentially, that's the whole idea behind the gain hack, is you just turn the gain up pretty much as high as you can get it on the subwoofer and as low as you can get it on the AVR and still have it all sound good. And what that's going to do is give you stronger dynamics, uh, more powerful, impactful bass, and you just get more out of it that way. Uh, and, you know, you can go the opposite direction. You can check out the video on uh, apartment tips. And with that, I talk about going the other direction, turning the gain down on the subwoofer and turning the, the subwoofer level up on the AVR. And what that does is that reduces the bleed over into the neighboring apartments and things like that. So that's going the other direction. But most people want to get more out of their subwoofers. And that's the one thing you can do. Now the one drawback is that uh, you may have an issue with your amplifier triggering your subs to turn them on, the auto on feature. You might need to get to a, a deep bass scene to get them to come on. Uh, I don't have much of a problem with that with the subs I deal with. But it's an issue so that's one thing to be aware of. Uh, otherwise uh, the gain hack works really well. It's one of those things you can do that's free. It, it doesn't cost you anything to do. And it gets you to look at things a little bit differently. So you can give that a shot. Again, you can go check out the whole video. Uh, when I first talked about the gain hack, I talked about doing it through Odyssey and trying to hit a particular um, uh, decibel level. But I realize that's a little more complicated than it needs to be. So I just want to make this short video on how to accomplish the gain hack uh, just by using those basic ideas. Running the AVR subwoofer level lower and running the gain on your subwoofer higher. Uh, so that's the idea. Uh, follow along the rest of the series. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of videos that are just like this, short and to the point. Uh, let me know what you think. Put a comment down in the uh, comments below. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe.